Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Evidence, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to calculate mean, median, and mod using Python. So I'm going to show you three different ways. First, we'll code it from scratch, and then second, we'll use a built built-in Python library to calculate mean, median, and mod, and third, we'll um, create functions to calculate mean, median, and mod. So let's dive in. Now I'm going to show you three ways to calculate mean, median, and mod in Python. But before I show you how to do that, we'll start by defining what mean is. Mean is described as the total sum of the numbers in a list divided by the length of the numbers in a list. In simple translation, you take all the numbers in a list and add them up, and then you divide the total by how many numbers are on the list. That's the definition of mean. Next is median. Median is described as a middle number when all numbers are sorted from smallest to largest. Again, in simple translation, basically you sort all the numbers in a list from the smallest one to the largest one. Whichever number is in the middle is the median. In the case of having two numbers in the middle, you add the two middle numbers together and divide them by two. The resulting answer from the division by two is the median. And then next is the mode. Mode is described as the most frequent occurring number when all numbers are sorted from smallest to largest. In simple translation, again, when you have a list of numbers, whichever number occurs more often than other numbers is the mode. If all numbers are got the same amount of time, then the set of numbers has no mode. First, we'll start by learn, learning how to compute mean, median, and mode from scratch. That's without any added help. So how to compute mean by coding from scratch. Again, just as a reminder, mean is described as the total sum of the numbers in a list. And numbers is equal to this. So this is just a made up list. I made up these numbers. And if you are going to compute the mean, mean, we basically say mean equal to sum of the numbers, sum of the, these total numbers divided by the length of the numbers that's divided by how many numbers are in here and then print mean print mean is how the numbers show up on the console and let's run this cell as you can see this right here is the mean of these numbers and this is just a little explanation you take the sum of the numbers and divided by how many numbers are in the list. Next, we'll calculate um, this but rounded. So this should be this exact same thing but rounded up to eight. And you use this keyword round to run stuff. It's gonna say eight. Now let's look at how to calculate medium by coding it from scratch. So again, median is described as the middle number when all numbers are sorted from smallest to largest. Following this logic, we create this median equal to sorted numbers and then length of numbers divided by two. Basically here, we'll first start by sorting the numbers from smallest to largest and then we'll divide the length of the numbers by two. As you can see here, our median is 6. So this double slash right here means to divide and round to the next smallest whole number. First, you sort the number in increasing order. Then you divide the length of the sorted number by 2. And that's how you get the median. Next, we'll calculate mode by coding from scratch. As a reminder, Mode is described as the most frequent occurring number 
when all numbers are sorted from smallest to largest. Mode is equal to the maximum. And for us to calculate mode, we'll do maximum numbers and key equal to numbers dot count. So basically, max numbers uh, finds out what the maximum number is and then it will count how many times that maximum number occurs in the, in the list that we have. So that's how you calculate mode and let's run this cell. As you can see the mode is 8. 8 is the number that occurs most often in the list of numbers, in this list of numbers. Now let's keep going. So now we are going to use a Python module to calculate mean, median and mod. So this, basically this right here, one, two and three, is how you calculate it manually from scratch without using any help. But yes, but there are easier ways to calculate mean, median and mod. First, we need to import a Python module in order to use it for calculations. And in this case, we'll do import statistics. So statistics is a Python module that you can use to calculate simple things like this. So how to calculate mean by using Python statistics module. And I used mean too, just for clarification purposes. Of course, you can just use mean, but I just wanted to clarify things a little bit. So mean too is equal to statistics.mean and numbers and basically uh, statistics is a python module and for you to calculate mean using this module you just say statistics dot mean and then in parentheses you put in what you what you want the mean of and in this case we want the mean of numbers that we defined earlier and we'll just click print mean too. As you can see, your mean is a predefined function in the statistics module. We are telling it to use the mean function found in statistics to calculate the mean of numbers. And let's run this. Oops, I have to run this first. Let's see what mean is. Um, name statistics is not defined. That's because I didn't run this cell. And now this should work. As you can see, the mean is 7.5625. That's what we had right here when we calculated it manually. And sometimes I'll code things manually and then I use the Python library to double check myself just to make sure uh, my calculation is right and my code is also right. So now look at how to calculate median by using Python statistics module. So here, mid so median two is equal to statistics dot median numbers, and then we we'll print median two, and we'll run this cell. As you can see, the median comes out to be six, and that's exactly what we got here. When we coded it from scratch, we also got six as the median. And next, we calculate mode by using a Python statistics module. So mode. Mode 2 is equal to statistics.mode of numbers. And then we run this cell. As you can see, the mode comes out to be 8. And up here, the mode is also 8 when we coded it from scratch. Basically, up until now, we've looked at how to calculate main, median, and mode by coding it from scratch. We've also looked at how to use a Python statistics module to calculate main, median, and mode. So now I'll show you how to calculate mean, median, and mod using a function. So basically, why would you want a function? If you are doing um, super large calculations and you find yourself typing in mean, median, and mod over and over and over again, if you see yourself typing the code over and over again, that's a sign that you need to create a function. We'll create a function that will calculate mean, function to calculate median and a function to calculate mode. So next time, whenever we want to calculate mean, median and mode, instead of saying statistics.mean or instead of 
typing in the code from scratch we'll just call the mean function and pass in the numbers the list we want the mean to be calculated for um, as we go through this it will make a little bit more sense so yeah let's keep going function to calculate mean so um in python for you to create a function you use def def is a keyword for function and in this case we just call our function mean three and in parentheses we'll give it one argument which is numbers and mean is equal to sum of numbers times length of numbers and return mean so basically in this situation this code this line of code right here is exactly the same thing as this line of code but now it is inside a function but now it's inside a function and we, and whenever we call mean 3 and we want the result to be an answer to this and you see more of, you see this to make more sense as we keep going but let me go ahead and run this cell because we need it and then this is the function to calculate median and we'll do definition median 3 of numbers and of course i'm calling it median 3 to clarify it so you know um what's happening and um, median and the same thing the same code that we saw above and we'll return median let's run this cell and this is a function to calculate mode mode 3 the same code we've seen earlier and again we'll return mode we'll, we'll return this right here and now let's just start our function so basically we created a function to calculate mean 3 a function to calculate median and a function to calculate mode now let's test it out to make sure our function works so begin with this one and um, print mean 3 numbers so basically I'm calling mean 3 function and I'm passing in the numbers I'm passing this list in as the list of numbers to use for calculation and let's print this as you can see this function works so we did print mean 3 of numbers and this is exactly what we got earlier when we use the statistics module and when we could it from scratch so this proves that our function works so next time whenever you want to calculate mean median and mode you can just say mean 3 and in parentheses we put in the numbers that we want and let's do median and it comes out to be 6 this is exactly what we got earlier and for print mode it comes out um to be the same thing so if you click the link below in the description you can get a copy of this notebook and leave a comment below to let me know other ways to calculate mean median and mode in python i want to think of this tutorial and how you can how you think i can improve i really want to uh, make more videos like this and i definitely want to improve so just let me know how you want me to improve my tutorial videos and what you think of this tutorial and if you know other ways to calculate mean median and mode in python just let me know and if you enjoy this content please share it with others to help them learn this concept too and also you can read a blog i wrote about this so this I also have this in blog format you can just go to evidencen.com and you'll be able to read the blog and if you click the link in the description below you can see you can have access to the blog from the link in the description and you can also get this notebook from the link in the description well ladies and gentlemen that's it for today's video and thank you for watching bye